Hello scientists, welcome to day five of your science learning. We're so glad that you've stuck with us this far. Yesterday we mentioned a little bit about the food web and how animals get their food. They might be a, a consumer of different kinds of plants and animals, and they might be an herbivore, an omnivore, a carnivore. Their teeth are special structures. And today we're going to be talking about that exactly, adaptations that plants and animals have to help them not only survive in their habitat, but to thrive as well. They've all generated something special to help them be able to survive in their environment. So we'll be looking at those specific structures today. So let's grab our science notebooks or a scratch piece of paper, and we're gonna look specifically at plants. Now, a plant wants to survive and thrive too. A lot of times we think about animals fighting for their survival, but plants also fight for their survival. And if a plant wants to survive, it's got to give its offspring, the seeds, the best chance they can have to survive. So we're going to look at three types of seeds that you can find around your home. One of them is the maple seed. Now, some of my kids think it's funny to call this a spinner. It's the one that floats down and spins. The seed portion is kind of a little oval in the bottom, and then it's almost got this large leaf or wing looking piece to it. Another one you might find in your yard is the sugar gum seed. And I call these spiky bowls. Oh, they get on me, they get on my dogs, they drive me nuts. And they hurt if you step on them while you're barefoot. And then we're gonna look at small seeds that you might find on the outside of a strawberry or inside of a kiwi or maybe even in watermelon. Now, as a plant, I want to survive and I want to thrive. I need the resources around me, but I also want my species to continue and for my offspring, my seeds, to survive and thrive where they are. That means I need them planted somewhere and I need it to be not very close to me. So I want you to think about how has this seed adapted and evolved so that it can be planted somewhere but not right by the parent tree? This one is actually going to use wind to be dispersed somewhere else. I want you to think as scientists, what is this seed and these seeds going to use to get away from their parent plant and survive and thrive elsewhere? We'll check in tomorrow. Well, all plants and animals have adaptations and almost everybody has a favorite animal. I want you today on your own to draw a picture of your favorite animal and then label and identify some special adaptations that it might have to help it survive in its environment. And don't forget, another thing you can do at the bottom of your screen is check out the links that we've provided for you. Try to find at least two or three that you'd like to explore a little bit more to continue to learn about plant and animal adaptations. Bye scientists!